Oh! Hi, welcome back to the beautiful electronics block. This is a broken Harman Kardon receiver. Here's the mains transformer. We have a standby circuit, uh, the mains loading caps, large rectifier diodes, a couple of voltage regulators. Here's the power amplifier for, I think there are five channels. with two large power transistors for each channel. Mains transformer probably made by Bando or something like that. Could be Japanese or Korean. Nice one. This is a good quality. We had a broken mains fuse down here. The one on the left. And here's the reason why. We have an emitter resistor here. It is broken. And the reason why it is broken is usually a faulty power transistor. I could probably change the power transistor. Uh, maybe this will work. But it could also but there could also be a broken driver transistor. Could be that the whole unit, if working, is not worth 50 euros. So I really have to think about if I want to uh, invest time and money here. Here is a video board. Of course, this is standard composite video. Here we have the analog audio board. Capacitors are Nippon Chemicon, I guess. That's not too bad. High quality capacitors here, probably for coupling. Here is the surround processing board. So one of these ICs should be or could be uh, a Dolby surround processor thing, decoder or something like that. And output op-amps because these here are the surround outputs. Here's the FM radio board. Down here is the front end, could probably also contain an AM tuner, I'm not sure. Volume potentiometer, you can't see it, it's an encoder, so it is one of these um, electronically controlled volume things. I don't really like them, but at least they don't make any noise. Broken here because, yeah. It was packed up by an eBay amateur. Mains power switch and down below is a soft switch for the standby mode. Display circuitry, speaker outputs. So there you have it. Uh, should I risk to power this up here? I'm not sure. Hmm, let's do it. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh! Yeah, I'm wearing gloves because it is so damn cold here in my shop. Well, I found a solution. It's not too professional, but at least it is working. Reason why it is not 100% professional is... Uh, this unit as a whole uh, isn't worth like 50 euro or 40 euro in full working condition with remote control and uh, great condition, no scratches and whatsoever. 
So this unit is missing the remote control. It is uh, not in perfect condition. Uh, I only know need the two stereo channels. I can't wait for, for parts. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, well, well, here's my solution. There are five complete identical amps. I've wired the I have wired the input from the left channel, which is broken, to the, uh, what is it, rear left channel, which is 100% identical. Uh, I have removed the signal coming from the surround board and I have wired the output from the broken channel to this channel here. So this should uh, normally work, we will see it in a minute. The wiring is a temporary solution. I just want to see if this is working. Yes, I could also have changed the parts from this channel to this one here. But it is much, much more work. I have to remove the complete board. Uh, and there's also the chance that some of the parts here are faulty too. So it is much, much easier to wire the inputs and outputs from one channel to another. Yeah, let's see if it is working now. Yeah, no smoke. Excellent. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I forgot to plug in one tiny little connector which is going from this board to the heatsink. It is just a um, temperature sensor and now everything is working again. I will do some performance tests and then I can use it as a stereo amplifier. Wonderful! Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. As always, I'm very, very happy about your support on Patreon and about every single thumbs up. Uh, yeah, I haven't posted a lot uh, the last two weeks. I was extremely busy. I'm uh, really sorry for that. But I have recorded lots and lots of videos. So there are coming a lot of interesting contents and videos. Yeah, hope to see you again soon. Bye!
crazy stuff.